Hi, this is Rick Eimer with the Palo Alto Weekly. I'm the sports editor there, and here today with us is Sophie Simonoff, a senior at Menlo School who has, uh, is a golfer, and she's our Athlete of the Week this week after starting this season really with two pretty good performances, a, a one under and, a, and an even par. And, uh, you know, she's headed toward, well, we'll let her, I'll let her do that. But uh, anyway, just talk about kind of the season and being with a team, especially, but being able to play with a team. Uh, I'm excited because I'm the only senior this year and the only upperclassman there, no juniors. So it's really underclassman leadership. We got, I think, four new freshmen this, mes this year, and we also got four new freshmen last year. So it's really great to see them kind of grow in their games. And we have two two really strong sophomores who I think pair well together and they are leading the team really well. Great, and of course, uh, Sophie is one of the better golfers in the area along with uh, a couple others. And, and the reason I say that is because she's uh, committed to college and I'll just ask her uh, where she's going and what, what made her decide. Um, I verbally committed to the admissions process at Princeton. And I, I love the mix of academics and athletics over there as well, the campus is incredible, and I love the team, and I'm looking forward to working with Coach Desani. Great, and uh, you know, now you, over the summer you played that uh, in the, am the state amateur golf, and had a really great performance. We, you know, that that's you, you qualify by playing stroke play and then going to match play, and uh, match play is kind of scary sometimes. I know that, and then you reached the semifinals and ran into the girl from Stanford before losing. So I mean, just talk about that performance a little bit. Well, when I played Emily, the girl from Stanford in the semis, she I had just come off 19 holes in the morning. So I had like 30 minutes maybe between finishing that hole and teeing off on the next round. So not going to lie, I was a little exhausted going into it, but it was really great. I loved watching her. I'm going to try to play with her sometime this fall. Her game is so sharp and she just got up and down everywhere and it was kind of frustrating. I was like, well, <laughs> I was trying to win some holes over there and I was I was only one down through eight but she made a 45 footer on nine and my momentum just scattered. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's part of the thing. She's, she's a, she just finished her freshman year at Stanford and obviously they did very well. So, I mean, that's kind of the competition you'll be facing as you move forward yeah. and that, that'll be good. And, you know, uh, playing in tournaments like that and, 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 you know, having to play the whole nine yards, the, you know, 36 holes, I think, for stroke play and then, mm -hmm. and then playing two match play point matches in in one day can be quite two in a, two in a row two in one day twice oh boy so I made the finals there was one more round but yeah yeah i mean you, you were playing on the last day which which is great almost, almost last day. okay and then uh but but what does that mean for you looking ahead i mean you, you got to feel that's pretty confident yeah i was super excited because i was the last non-college golfer in it and i was playing against the i think number 19 amateur in the country in the in the girl from UT Austin who I played in the quarterfinals and it was really excited for me, exciting for me to make it as far as, as I did I didn't even think I was going to make the cut uh, to make it to match play so it was all garbage time honestly and I just kept playing and when I lost in the semis my mom gave me a big hug and was like, I am so proud of you just because I made it that far and I really wasn't expecting to yeah so garbage time is good yeah, yeah that's <laughs> just to make sure so in uh, you know in golfing around here has has really uh, you know, it's always been good, but this year it just seems to me, particularly on the girls' side, uh, with so many really good ones, uh, does that make it even more interesting to, to, you know, when you're looking ahead to this to the league finals and the CCS finals? Yeah, there, there's a lot of really good competition, especially in this area, and I'm excited to see them and play them, and a lot of them are my really good friends, so it'll be, it'll be great. They bring me food, and we have a good time, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, th that's the funny thing. I think tennis and golf are kind of the weird sports where you can actually play against your best friend and, and do well and then still be friends afterwards. So we've been talking to uh, Sophie Slamanoff, your Athlete of the Week, and congratulations. Thank you. And if you'd care to find out about future Athlete of the Weeks, just click that uh, button down below and or visit pasportsonline.com for more sports information.